How's it going guys? Welcome to the video. We're here at the range. It is a very cold day. It's also raining, so not the best conditions, but I wanted to bring a video to you today talking about this gun right here, the Shadow Systems MR920. We've obviously made a video about this gun in the past talking about uh, how much I love it and how amazing it is and why I got it. But today I want to talk about what's different about it from the Glock 19. There are a number of key differences that this gun has stock that is different and differentiated from the standard over-the-counter Glock 19. So I wanted to make this video to address those differences. So for those of you out there that are interested in this and comparing this to a Glock 19, this is the video for you. We're going to talk about everything that's different about it, better, worse, just everything that has to do with this gun right here. So with that, let's get the video started. And this is my world. in getting a Shadow Systems MR920 and you want to know, hey, what is the differences that I'm going to be paying for? Because obviously it's a little bit heftier of a price than the standard Glock 19. So what am I getting for that price? Well, first off, I just want to address and make very, very clear for those of you that aren't aware, this for all intents and purposes is a Glock 19. It is a Glock 19 form factor. It takes Glock 19, it takes Glock 19 magazines. It fits in Glock 19 holsters. It is 15 rounds, four inch barrel. It is basically a Glock 19. So what is different that I'm actually paying for? Well, first off with the slide, let's start with that. It has some very, very nice serrations at the front and rear, which not all of the Glocks do. I think they started that with the Gen 5s. Don't quote me on that, I could be incorrect, but I believe it was the Gen 5s that started having the front serrations on the Glocks. But either way, these are much deeper serrations. They're easier to get a grip on. If you like to do press checks like me, turn the gun sideways, make sure you got around in the chamber. Press checks are easier, racking the slide is easier, everything is easier having a little bit more grip and a little bit deeper serrations like this has. Now moving on to the sights on this gun, it comes with a blacked out rear and the front is a highlighter yellowish green color and it makes looking down the sight, finding your sight picture way easier having those blacked out rears. I really like that a lot. Now as far as the optics mounting system, these come pre-cut for a red dot sight uh, and I don't know the scientific specifics on this, but I do know it is very easy to accommodate a large amount of sights and red dot sights on this gun. It's not quite as complicated as the Glocks where you have to have a bunch of different aftermarket plates. It's already cut and able to accommodate a large variety of aftermarket red dot sights. Moving on to the barrel, we have a copper colored fluted barrel. Not only does it look super cool, but it also performs really, really well. I have done some testing with this, comparing it to my Glock 19, and I found this to be just as accurate, if not maybe just a smidge, more accurate. There's a number of factors that could come down to. It's not necessarily the barrel. Nevertheless, it has a very, very solid barrel in there. You can choose to go with the black one. I went with the copper colored one because I just think it looks cool. Adds a little flair, a little style to the gun. Uh, and hey, why not? Next, moving down to the frame. This has an amazingly stippled frame here that I absolutely love. It comes straight from the factory with the kind of stippling that a lot of people would go and pay money to get done to their standard Glocks. If you can take a look here, hopefully you can see this. It has a very aggressive grip texture on the frame and I absolutely love it. Not only does it hold your grip, but also if you move up the frame just a little bit, you have more stippling right here on both sides which is really nice. It allows you to have a spot to rest your finger when you're holding the gun and manipulating it. And obviously also your support hand, your thumb's gonna sit right about there and it gives you a great grippy spot to keep your grip on the gun with your support hand. And it even has a little bit of a ledge, a little indentation built into the frame just to give you even more support and grip when you grip that gun to shoot. Where do we go next? Uh, so the slide release to me, is more or less the same as the standard Glock 19. There may be a difference here, 
correct me if I'm wrong, more or less it feels to me the exact same as a standard Glock 19. Now there may not be a difference there, but I have noticed with the magazine release there is a little bit of a difference. With the standard Glock 19s from the factory, I have found that the magazines don't always want to come out. It seems like they like their home inside of the gun. They kind of get stuck. They don't fly out like you would like them to. That's kind of where that John Wick little flick came from. When he's reloading in the movies, he's shooting, shooting, shooting. Pops, when he's, when he's depressing the magazine release, he does a little flick to uh, send the magazine out. And it's kind of the same issue here. The magazines don't exactly just want to come out. But with this Shadow Systems, it is at least a little bit better. I'm not going to say it's amazing. It's not as good as some other brands, but it is a lot better. Obviously this magazine is loaded, but you can kind of see here that as long as you get a good clean press on the magazine release, that mag is going to fall out. And so it's, it's a little bit better. Not a huge difference, but a little bit. And then I believe the second to last thing we need to note is the trigger. The trigger on this gun, it's a little bit softer, smoother, more pleasing to, uh, to, to use than the standard Glock 19s. They kind of have that snappy, um, it's just not the most pleasant experience shooting the standard Glock triggers. They're not bad by any means. They work, they get the job done. They've been tested and proven over and over again. But this trigger brings that just a little bit more towards that pleasant, enjoyable shooting experience. This trigger is slightly lighter, so you don't have to depress it quite as much. You find that wall right there, and then it's a very smooth break. It's not like the Glocks where it's like hard wall and then just, I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't feel good on the standard Glocks. That's all I can say, and this is a much more pleasant shooting experience. And that brings me to the final difference that we've noted here with this MR920 comparing it to the Glock 19s, and that's going to be the recoil and just overall shooting experience. I have noticed this is a very, very soft shooting gun. When I'm shooting, that recoil on the standard Glock 19 is not a lot. It's not something to write home about. But it's enough that I notice a difference with this going and trying to find that target again, trying to get your sight picture again after a shot. So stringing together a series of shots, five, six, seven, eight shots together in a row at a relatively decent speed, it becomes a lot easier with something like this. It's a lot softer shooting and just a little bit less recoil. So that is the Shadow Systems MR920. It's a very, very good looking gun. And despite that, it includes a lot of features that the Glock 19, I don't wanna say is missing, but could use. And a lot of people end up doing to their Glock 19s anyways. This Shadow Systems includes that all in this package for a much more competitive price than a lot of the other similar modded Glocks out there. I think it's a great gun. I've absolutely loved it. Would highly recommend it to pretty much everyone out there. If you have a Glock 19 and you're considering getting something a little more a little more special, a little more unique, and a little more fun to use. Or if you don't have either right now and you're trying to decide which one to get, uh, if you have the money, it's a no-brainer. This is going to be the one for you. These guns are just really fun to shoot. That's all I can say. So with that, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Would very much appreciate it. Comment down below with any thoughts that you had. Do you have a Shadow Systems as well? Do you love yours as much as I love mine? And uh, if you want to see more videos like this going forward, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.